All right, guys, my wife says I'm best at low skill or no skill approaches. And that's what we're going to try on this guy because this capstone company has added another security feature on these slider locks. And I, I'm going to show you another uh, technique to get into it that doesn't require a lot of practice. First, let's take a look at the lock. It, it is a very cool lock. And this is uh, the steel cylinder. It obviously is encapsulated in this heavy plastic, so very durable. This high visibility yellow stuff is uh, silicone, so it's not going to be banging up your bike. Uh, nice tight fit here. It's actually a compressed fit. There's no other openings anywhere for water to infiltrate to start rusting the interior. On the bottom, and this is where we're going to start to see some new security features. Uh, first, let's take a look at the key. You see it's a laser cut key, and these really, to a lot of guys, can be quite intimidating. They just look, I don't know, nasty. And sometimes they can be. Um, we're going to slide them in there. We have to rotate it 90 degrees. And then give it a little tug because it's a compression fit and out it comes. There's a locking bar inside of there. So positive locking. It's not going to be shimmed. So very cool. Let's lock him back up and see if we can't pick him. But before we do that, let me grab a tensioner here. You notice on this tensioner, we have a couple of things. The outer plate is new. We haven't seen that before. That's a restrictor plate. And on that restrictor plate, and I hope you guys can see that, it looks like a figure eight with a real tight waist right in the middle. So the attack where we put the pick in and kind of roll everything in place, that restrictor is going to kind of prevent that, going to prevent us from sliding everything over. Also behind that restrictor plate, we have a shutter to keep all the debris and everything out. Now when I take the tensioner and I slide them in there and tension it, you notice he opens up on one side, but it pinches closed on the other side. So putting more pressure on those two little shutter doors is going to make it really hard to get any feel if we're going to try to single pin pick it. Luckily, we don't have to. I'm going to take the same pick. Now, remember, there are sliders on both sides of this lock. So you're going to see me take the pick, doesn't matter which way, slide it in. I'm going to be attacking, just sliding in and out, moving everything randomly. When I feel a little bit of give, I'm going to try the other side and just alternate back and forth. So let's try that. All right, so light tension, no heavy tension and no moderate tension because everything will bind up on you. So slide them in and just randomly start moving those sliders around. And you know you're headed in the right direction because you'll feel the core turn slightly every time one of those sliders finds its home. Okay, I felt it turn slightly and I'm not getting anything else, so I'm going to angle it down and I'm going to try the bottom sliders. Again, I felt it turn very slightly there. And don't forget, there's two sliders hiding behind that restricted waist. So take the tip of your pick and kind of jiggle those. we got to pick them all. And don't forget the ones in the very back either. Just randomly. Try the bottom again. Okay, I felt it turn again. Very slight turn. Let me try the top again. That restrictor plate really does catch the pick. So just pay attention to how much the core is turning. Now when it turns, don't put a lot of tension on it. I know the temptation is to try to force it, but if you do that, everything binds and then you're totally hosed. It has turned so much, my thumb is pushing more on the body of the lock than it is on the tensioner there. Check the ones right behind the waist on both sides. And I can definitely feel that shutter grabbing the pick as it approaches the bottom of the keyway. I felt it turn a little more just now. Try the other side. Felt it turn a little more. Let me go back to the top. And there we go. Ugh. I know it seems like it took a lot of time. But let's look at why that is. Remember, I'm randomly attacking this. It's almost like raking a lock, except instead of a four pin or five or even a six pin lock, I'm probably looking at 
let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm looking at 12 sliders, six on each side. So the randomness of it is still going to take a little time. The key is don't apply too much pressure. As soon as you do that, it's game over. You're not going to get an open. All right, guys, these, I know these are weird. I know these are a little bit intimidating, particularly to new pickers. Don't be intimidated by this because when you see a lock with some kind of weird technology, it may be a lock that you haven't opened, but it's only because in, you haven't opened it yet. Figure out what the technique is and you can get into it. Thanks, guys.